chances are, if you've even heard of HPV, the human papilloma virus, or the vaccine that prevents it, it's been in relation to females and cervical cancer. HPV, there are 140 different types. Some are low risk, some are high risk. The high risk types are known to cause almost all cervical cancer. A sexually transmitted disease, the virus is widespread. It's thought that 80% of all sexually active people have been exposed to high-risk HPV at some time in their life. Most strains of HPV go completely undetected and clear up on their own, but the risk goes well beyond female cancers. HPV is now responsible for half of all oral cancers, and men are more likely to be affected. 15, 18 years ago, Probably 90, 95% of my new cancer patients were smokers, and their cancers were most of the time caused by the smoking. But now about 45% are non-smokers, and the majority of those are caused by HPV. In 2012, it was reported that 10% of men and 4% of women in the U.S. had an oral HPV infection. Only a fraction developed cancer. These are largely cancers of the tonsil or the base of the tongue, way back in the back of the throat. The vaccine recommended for pre-sexually active boys and girls protects against the specific HPV strands responsible for cervical and oral cancers. It's hoped this attention on on HPV will help people spread the word and not the virus. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.